Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is middleware. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, if, especially if you have interest in software technology and you want to learn about it that what is middleware. So let's start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. And also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, middleware is software that is used to bridge the gap between applications and other tools or databases. Middleware sits between an operating system and the applications that run on it. It is effectively software that provides a method of communication and data management between applications that would otherwise not have any way to exchange data such as with software tools and databases. Middleware appears in many locations, however, organizations and developers make a specific use of middleware to more efficiently build applications. Organizations that use multi-cloud and containerized environment will often also use middleware as a more cost-effective way to develop and scale applications. Some examples of middleware activities include handling data and API management, authentication and messaging service. Now why it is called middleware actually? Friend, the name middleware stems from the fact that it is the software that sits between the client side request on the front end and the back end resources being requested. A client can make a request with network based interactions. That client is typically an application that resides on the front end which is where the user interacts with software resources such as database, message queues, NoSQL data stores and file servers are often referred to as being part of the back end middleware will sit between these ends. Now how middleware works actually? Friend, networks based request attempt to interact with back end data. This data might be something as simple as an image to display or a video to play or it could be as complex as a history of banking transactions. The requested data can take on many different forms and may be stored in a variety of ways such as coming from a file server, fetched from a message queue or preserved in database. The role of middleware is to enable and ease access to those backend resources. Middleware programs will typically provide a messaging service for applications to transfer data such as simple object access protocol SOAP, representational state transfer REST or JavaScript object notation JSON. Why use middleware? Middleware servers a variety of functions. First, it manages connectivity to various backend resources. A middleware component might create a connection pool to provide fast and efficient access to a popular backend database. It can also create connections to message queues and topics. Furthermore, a piece of middleware software may change manage connections to cloud based resources like the Amazon Simple Storage Service Amazon S3. <coughs> Second, middleware software has the capacity to implement logic based on the request made by the client. For example, a middleware component might recognize that a client browser making a given request has the language header set to English and as a result, the queries it makes to the back end might be tweaked to return nothing but English based results. Or perhaps a server could identify the geographical location of the client making the request based on its IP address and return data to the client that prioritizes results that are located close by. The ability to take a request from a user, perform logic and then customize the results is an important job performed by middleware software. Third, middleware plays an important role in concurrent processing, load balancing and transaction management. Middleware software typically has the capacity to scale vertically and horizontally to help distribute incoming client requests over multiple servers, virtual machines or availability zones of the cloud. Middleware software can also handle concurrency and transaction management issues. 
such as dealing with problems that arise when two or more clients attempt to access or update a given back end a resource at the same time finally middleware plays an important role in securing access to back end resources middleware software has the ability to change challenge clients it requires both a secure connection using a technology like ssl and authentication using either a username and password combination or a digital certificate this security information is then used to check if the client making the request has the authority to access the data in question if the rights are affirmed the data is sent from the middleware server to the client using a secure and encrypted connection middleware categories in general it industry analysts such as gartner and forrester research put middleware into two categories enterprise application integration middleware and platform middleware enterprise application integration middleware enables programmers to create business applications without having to custom craft integrations for each new application in this situation middleware helps software and service components work together providing a layer of functionality for data consistency and multi enterprise or b2b integration typically integration middleware provides messaging services so different applications can communicate using messaging frameworks like soap web services rest or json other middleware technologies used in this category include object request broker orb and data representation technologies like xml business can purchase individual integration middleware products on premises pro products or cloud based application integration source platform middleware supports software development and delivery by providing a runtime hosting environment such as container for application program logic its primary components are in memory and enterprise application servers as well as web servers and content management platform middleware includes tools that support application development and delivery such as web servers application servers and content management systems uh, then friend the generally embedded or external communications platform middleware will allow different communications tools to work together these communications tools enable application and service interaction resource management services such as microsoft azure resource manager host application program logic at run time another key function in platform middleware other components include trusted platform modules and in memory data grids platforms middleware products are also available as a specific on premises or cloud service tools as well as multi tool suits on a cloud suite site middleware as a service offers the runtime environment and an integrated set of platform tools so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with the friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends